All right, now we're gonna look at this foot here. And one nice thing about the foot, is, this foot, is that you can see the vessels and the nerves pretty well on here. And it also has a nice little cross section here where you can actually see all of your vessels and arteries and veins and things, which makes it really neat. As you can see your posterior tibial artery here with tibial nerve, anterior tibial artery with deep peroneal nerve. Here's your fibular artery. And then, of course, you have your muscles that you can see really nicely. Fibula, tibia. Looking at the back, we have our posterior tibial artery and our tibial nerve running together down behind the medial malleolus. On the side, we have our two, our superficial peroneal branch coming from your common peroneal nerve, which would be farther up, of course. And then it's going to come down to the top of the foot and give off dorsal metatarsal nerves and dorsal digital nerves here. So that's nice that you can see those dorsal metatarsal and dorsal digital nerves. And of course they're running with the arteries of the same name. So between these two toes, for example, you can see the dorsal digital, dorsal metatarsal nerve and artery, and your dorsal digital nerves and arteries here. If we take this muscle off, we can see our anterior tibial artery. Here's the anterior tibial artery running with our deep fibular nerve on that anterior aspect. This would be fibular artery branches poking out here. And you can see anterior tibial artery continuing over the ankle here by the malleolus, which is here. And this part would be called dorsalis pedis, right underneath the, this extensor retinaculum. So that's the continuation of anterior tibial artery. This is dorsalis pedis. Dorsalis pedis is going to come down and give off the arch, which is indicated by this little piece of an artery here. So this would be your arcuate artery, and then your metatarsal, dorsal metatarsal artery and dorsal digital arteries. You can see your extensor hallucis brevis really nicely here, going right to the big toe with the extensor hallucis longus tendon. And then here is your extensor digitorum brevis, and you can follow those tendons down as well. Now we're going to look at the plantar surface of the foot a little bit. Look at some of these muscles and um, vessels and stuff here. Ah, my foot's falling apart. Okay, so on top of all of this stuff, most superficially you'd have the plantar aponeurosis, which is where you get plantar fasciitis, people who suffer with that. And then you have three kind of superficial muscles here. You have your uh, flexor digitorum brevis here. It looks kind of like a mitten with little fingers. You have an abductor for the tiny digit, so abductor digiti minimi, and you have an abductor for the hallux or big toe. So this would be abductor hallucis, big toe, and then abductor digiti minimi for the little toe, and then your flexor digitorum brevis in the middle. If you take these three muscles off, you can actually see your plantar nerves coming down from your uh, tibial artery. Okay, so now remember, these are all originating from sciatic, basically. So you've got your medial plantar nerve and lateral plantar nerve, and those nerves are going to come down and give off plantar common digital nerves, and then plantar, dor uh, plantar digital proper nerves, plantar proper digital nerves. So plantar common digital nerve, plantar proper digital nerve. Here's the continuation from your posterior tibial artery giving rise to your um, common and proper plantar digital arteries as well. This muscle right here is called your quadratus plantae. In between the tendons from your flexor digitorum longus, which comes from the leg, you have lumbricals, just like we saw in the hand. <coughs> we can take this off, and we see kind of a similar setup that we had with the um, hand as well. You have an adductor halysis, transverse and oblique. You have a flexor 
hypocalcis brevis. You have a flexor digiti minimi brevis. You can even go deeper still in the foot down to that deep, deepest layer and you can see your interosseous muscles of the foot here in between the bones. All right, looking again at the sole of the foot, interosseous muscles, flexor digiti minimi brevis. I don't know if I put the brevis in there before. This is your plantar arch. Okay, instead of arcuate artery, which we had on the dorsal aspect. And then you have your plantar metatarsal arteries, your uh, common plantar arteries, and your proper plantar digital arteries. Common plantar digital, proper plantar digital, and that goes with the nerves as well. I think that's it for the foot. Alrighty, again, we're looking at our old friend here. I'm going to look at some nerves. I guess we all show, should look at some muscles. We'll look at some other stuff too in a second. But I wanted to do these lumbosacral nerves first. I remember this muscle is your iliacus. Here is your psoas major. This sitting on top of psoas major, this thick thing right here, it actually goes all the way back here, is actually your psoas minor. It's a muscle. Iliacus again. This muscle here is quadratus lumborum. It'll be important when we look at the back. These are your posterior intercostal nerves. Let's see what else is on here that you need to know. Back up here you can actually see your spinal accessory nerve which will come out and feed the traps in the sternocleidomastoid. So technically this is a nerve of the back as well. It's got a number 11 on it, so it should be relatively easy to figure out which one it is. Now down here we can see our nerves from our lumbar plexus, sacral plexus way down in the pelvis. First one is going to be subcostal, last rib. Under the last rib is your subcostal nerve. Then we have two nerves here, one, two, iliohypogastric, ilioinguinal. Inguinal one being closer to the inguinal canal, which would be down here. So subcostal, iliohypogastric, ilioinguinal. Then we have this one sitting right on top of the psoas major. This is genitofemoral nerve, where it comes out. You have a, a femoral branch and a genital branch of genitofemoral. This one coming out laterally to the side is lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and coming out from underneath of your psoas major muscle is your femoral nerve. Now if we look on this other side they look a slightly different. Here's your subcostal, iliohypogastric, ilioinguinal, lateral femoral cutaneous here. This little thin one here would be your genitofemoral. Now notice there's no psoas major on this side so it looks different. Here's your femoral nerve. And then here we can see obturator nerve. It's going to come down, go through that obturator foramen with the obturator artery. Right here. And you have the same thing over here. You just can't see it from this angle. So you can see a little teeny tiny piece of it here. But right along here is your obturator on this side. You can see it nicely on this side though. This would be sciatic way down here. You can't really see sciatic on this model that well. 